Good afternoon. It is Monday, April 3rd, and this is Audio Tree Live with Deep Valley. that song smile more uh my favorite line from that was kind of like um you'll have to correct me this is your lyrics but the um the one about being a feminist rock band but not first and foremost you are a rock band um then that's not why you started the band right uh and i was wondering how how you deal with people who kind of just loop you into some label that you were never really uh striving for in the first place you just deal with it. You don't have much of a choice, I guess, right? We just thank them politely very much for paying attention to what we're doing. Well, right. The sure. <laughs> um, so you two met, I read, in a crocheting class. Uh, this, this is true? 
Yes, and uh, in California, how did you two start writing music together? Uh, how did we start writing music together? <laughs> well, um, I guess we had a good bonding session uh, during a crochet lesson, and we hit it off that way, and we talked a lot about music, because we'd both been in other projects, and uh, we're both in a place where I think we were looking for maybe something new to do creatively. Um, we were both plateauing. Like, severely. In your other musical projects? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so we were just, uh, you know, we were excited to meet, um, to meet each other and at the idea of jamming together. And, uh, well, Lindsay kept coming in. I worked in a knitting shop. Okay. <laughs> and I, so did you I, teach the crocheting yeah. class then? Okay. And so she kept coming in and coming in. And I was like a paying customer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was a preferred customer. And then it just kind of went from there? Yeah, yeah. Then we had a jam session. We jammed with our friend Ashley Tsurigian, who's a killer bass player. Mm -hmm. And then she got too busy to ever jam again. So we just we just kept going, the two of us. It was kind of like accidental. Right. Well, it seems like it's working out just fine. <laughs> yeah. Not Sounds great. Well, if you want to <laughs> roll into your next song, go ahead. Cool. I guess let's see what we're doing next. Oh, all right. Um...
is Audio Tree Live with Deep Valley. So you're coming off of your recent September release of your sophomore album. That's right. Uh, which I read one of you didn't like the name of the album at first. <laughs> I'm not sure which one that was, but I read about that. Um, yeah, well, the first time Julie was like, was like, famagism. And I was like, huh? <laughs> it, took me a, like, it took me a while to like get used to the idea, you know? Sure. But that's part of what I ended up liking about it was that it was slightly revolting, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, what does that word mean to both of you? It means all kinds of different things. It's just a really great word. I, I do really what like it. What does it mean yes. to you? It's, to, it's like bad words married together, you know? I kind of took it as the whole, uh, the new wave feminism and kind of a jab against that. For me. <laughs> I think, I think it, in its own way, it's a jab against... The word, not the practice. Sure, yeah. And the, you know, it's, it's kind of in a lot of places to a lot of people, it's become a bad word. Mm -hmm. um, so we just like flipped it and turned it into a rad word. It does, I do like it. But <laughs> if you, uh, so it was produced by Nick Zinner of the Yeah, Yeah, Yes. That's right. Um, and I read that he gave you some great advice, um, kind of like, this is your second album, and don't worry if it doesn't sound like Deep Valley to you. Like, just kind of write what you want. Right, yeah. I mean, I think um, that that advice was meant for, like, during the creative process, mm -hmm. don't be too judgmental of of what you're, what you're creating. You know, judge it later. Like, just, like, do the work, create the stuff, and then later on you can decide if it belongs on the record or not. But... Um, yeah, that's that's. I think it's great advice to not be too neurotic and questioning what you're doing while you're creating because you want to just let it flow, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, if you want to go ahead and do your next song. Cool. This song is called Little Baby Beauty Queen. <laughs>
And this is Audio Tree Live with Deep Valley. So kind of piggybacking on to what we just talked about, um, you also self-finance this record. We did. Yes. Which means you can artistically do whatever it is you want to do. Yes, this is correct. Uh, which must help with the creative process. But uh, how was self-financing it, um, considering it was just you two trying to work through everything? Um... Well, yeah, I mean, I guess there's just less cooks in the kitchen, you know. Um, we were between labels at the time, mm -hmm. and um, we didn't, so we weren't working with any A&R people or record label people, which, right. which was awesome, because we had so much freedom and get as crazy as we want, and uh, that we, I guess maybe we weren't as thinking as, like, you know, record labels, major labels are really um, concerned with singles and radio. Mm hmm so maybe we were thinking less about singles and more of just like this whole album piece, you know, really thinking of making the the sequence of the album. And, As one all together. You know, so I think maybe that's how it would make it a little different. Yeah, and then we just basically like went through all our money. Went through all our <laughs> money, all that's our money. right. <laughs> and uh, here we are. Well, I think it goes kind of well with like the whole overarching theme of the album too, that you kind of are just doing what you want to do, but you are actually doing what you want to do. Yeah, definitely. That's correct. Yeah, it fits. <laughs> Go ahead into your next song. Oh boy, what's the next song? Hard as an animal.
And this is Audio Tree Live with Deep Valley. Uh, you have an upcoming tour with Blondie and Garbage. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Where you're going? Yeah. So uh, that was um, that was a good call to get. <laughs> we were asked to do that tour. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of cool because it. I when I was like, I don't know, 15 years ago, maybe I saw, I saw a tour that was. Um, it was garbage, no doubt, in the distillers. Mm-hmm. That was like the triple threat, you know, girl power tour. Yeah, absolutely. So it's kind of like that again. Except we're on it this time. And um, yeah, it's awesome. It's it's going to be so much fun. Um, and yeah, it's it's the East Coast and the South mostly. Yeah. And uh, with a couple great. unusual stops in Florida. <laughs> For any Florida Why people, unusual? we're coming. We're coming. <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds great. Um, also, you guys are traveling with a baby, which is interesting. Yeah, with my baby. Yeah. She, uh, she's almost a toddler. Yeah. She's like, she's 16 months old. Mm-hmm. You were saying that she's been traveling with you since three months? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's already been to South by Southwest twice. <laughs> this is her second time in Chicago. Wow. Um, yeah. She's definitely been around the country more than I have. And <laughs> I, I have a feeling she might end up being the future bass player of Deep Valley. Well, she was sitting on the drums <laughs> earlier, so. Well, drums, she can get her rhythm rudiments, you know, so mm-hmm. then she can move to the next rhythm. Because the only time the that bass. she has to part with mommy is when mommy has to go on stage and she doesn't <laughs> like that. So she'll be extra incentivized to, like, get, get good at an instrument, you know? Mm-hmm. So she can come up with us. Not to mention the unhealthy competitive environment at home, so. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, are there any other uh, tour necessities that you guys have while you're on tour that you must have? We do knitting. We do a lot of knitting. Um, As I guessed from yes. knitting and crochet we, um, class. We knit Deep Valley custom beanies and really? we sell them. Oh, that's awesome. Um, they're kind of like a very exclusive, one-of-a-kind item. Hell yeah. yeah. We've got a few for Shubas tonight. That's right. Knitting. Wonderful. Yeah, by the way, they are playing Shubas tonight with Crosstown. That's they right. Still Shout out to Crosstown available. for providing this uh, lovely Fender basement. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Which totally. will be used tonight, too. Uh, if you want to go ahead into your next song. Yeah, I guess this is pretty cool. Everything, all the songs we're doing uh, in this session today are all from our new record, Feminism, which we will have tonight at the show. We all have vinyl and compact discs for those of you with cars made before 2000. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is called Grunge Bond.
is Audio Tree Live with Deep Valley. And again, uh, just to reiterate, you can catch them at Shubas tonight. Um, they also have a new album out called Femagism. And you can go ahead and roll into your final song whenever you're ready. Awesome. Thank you so much.
Thanks so much. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is Audio Tree Live with Deep Valley. Uh, we really appreciate you guys coming in today. I had a lot of fun. Um, the, you can support Audio Tree and the band by downloading the session, and it comes out in a few weeks. Awesome. And also check out their album, Femagism. And thank you to the Audio Tree crew and everyone behind the scenes for making this happen. And have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much, everybody.